I uh, know he's gotten seventh link once or twice. Yeah. With a Tata, teaming at Midwest Mayhem. So yeah, but this but is like the first top four. Like where he's placing in some solid money right now. Yeah. This is excellent play here from Rickles so far, teaming with Ducks from Michigan, who also is having kind of a breakout, and they're going to have to go up against Team St. Louis, who yeah. slayed the other team, St. Louis. Yeah, that was that was painful. But only because St. Louis. Because it was the team. You never, you never like you to never see like that. You never like to see team killing. But here we go. It is going to be Lila Cruz. Lila Cruz. We got two foxes. Yeah, I, I do know that Zephyr and Dare to Dream do not have a problem with Lila. That's where we went against them game one. Yeah, you know, like the more I think about it, the more I want to keep Lila. Like I like Lilat. I like Lilat, but I like Lilat too but much. But if to if, it, if to you uh, if you talk about Lilat to blind, he will just link you to John Numbers' compendium of Lilat shenanigans, in which there are some really like there are some videos in there that's just like I I can't. Yeah, Lilat has shenanigans, but like, in what percent of games are there Lilat shenanigans? That's what I want to know. But we're not talking about that anymore. We can talk about that in our fr free time. This is Battlefield for Game 1 of Loser Semifinals. And all the characters here love Battlefield. Two Foxes, a Ganondorf, and a Sonic sounds showing up to play. Sounds like a TV show in the making. Oh, that's a very high up beat coming out from Dare to Dream. And he's just going at weird angles to try and get out of this disadvantage situation. Yeah, so these, so these Foxes, like it, it might be a little bit difficult. Sometimes you might mistake one for the other. you got to be careful. Yeah, we can see hard punishes in both directions and here blue, in this blue game. Blue team, a little bit of disadvantage percent-wise, but they currently, I believe, have a little bit of stage control. They did at the time. Rickles, oh, he is going off. Finding that back air, and the neutral air, almost enough to stage spike Zephyr, but good DI from him to avoid and, it and go and right across now, the stage instead. Right now, Dare Dream's got to be careful because Rickles has already shown he will not be afraid of going for these, for these side Bs, especially if you're healthy. Yeah, Raw right there, he was tilt. sitting. Enough to kill. That I believe that shield poke, that shield poke, that up smash. It sure looked like it. That, if not, that shield is very low. It's possible. Dare to dream, no. Yeah, that's the Rickle tickle, and that's gonna happen <laughs> to you if you're not ready for it. I mean, Rickles, A great Rickles. trade for Rickles again. You, you gotta be careful about Ganondorf. He's going to go for it. The Zephyr taking out Dux's first stock. If he didn't go for those, he wouldn't be doing his job. Oh, and he okay. goes for it again. Oh my gosh, Rickles. Zephyr's got to be really careful. Wow. That almost killed. <laughs> he fell in the Fox's jab at like 40, and that fully charged up smash almost killed him on Battlefield. You got to believe in that up smash sometimes. Zephyr, go away. OK. It's a pretty nice button, Xylus, <laughs> as it turns out. It's a beautiful button. <laughs> And if, you, if, if they shield it, it's safe. So it's all good. Exactly. Uh, forward oh. tilt, not enough to kill Fox here. And you know, Duck's trying to get the, oh, great reaction on that. Roll on the stage, finds the up smash. And, 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 and this Ducks, is a Ducks dominant doing, game. Oh, that might have been a good angle. Yes, it was. That was a very good angle in that spring. Got very, uh, Zephyr getting very unlucky. It's going to be a battle of who's going to hold the button longer. OK. Yeah, Rickles knew he wasn't going to make it back. That was too much knockback. He wants to get back into that fight as fast as possible. That's important to realize when you know when you know you're just dead. Like as Cloud or as Gandalf or anyone with those like linear recoveries, just because leaving your teammate in a one versus two situation is never something you want to do. Yeah, and most oh, and blue team starting to run it back. Yeah, so if Zephyr can Zephyr has to live. If he can do what he's done before and hold on to this stock for as long as possible, then blue team has a shot. And and Dare to Dream always has that fair footstool. That's true. These are both very fair footstool oh. characters. A little bit of a clank situation there. Zephyr oh, starting Zephyr. to rack up this damage. That's a nice footstool reset on the spin dash combo, actually. Very clean to get 78% on the What's Rickles going to do? All right. Take Rickles had to commit to something. He was, could not stay in that shield forever. Uh, if he was any longer, he might have had a shield broken. You do not want that right now. We're just looking for the easy forward tilt, but that's going to be the tech here for Data Dream. He is staying alive. Oh, and that's going to take it. Rickles and Ducks taking game one. As soon as I say he's staying alive. Nope. He's not staying alive. Commentator's curse. Nah, Coming into play. That's Ganondorf, man. Look how far that down tilt went. He went, like, 
a character and a half distance, just reaching with the toes, and finding the stock. Ganderson working out. You can tell. Mad gains, dude. Yeah, Mad so, gains here on Battlefield. So the biggest thing, everyone who's playing against Rickles, they need to be aware of their percentages. Right. If Rickles is at that 100%, he will start looking for those side Bs. And that was that was the biggest reason that they lost. They lost that stock so early from, uh, from Dare to Dream. Just let Ganon have the ledge, dude. Just let him have the ledge. You, you just, Don't you, contest just, him. Just start 2v1, basically, once that happens. Yeah, exactly. You can you can start a one versus two situation while Ganondorf takes his sweet sweet time getting back onto the stage. Oh, oh. what's gonna happen? <laughs> All right. I think I think both Sonic and uh, Ganon were afraid to kind of go out there and punish because when they're firing up, you cannot tell the difference between the two. And you might hit your teammate. That's always a threat when that's happening. Right, so right now, red, blue team doing a and a lot better straights. Rickles going for the reverse forward tilt. I think he saw that Dare was trying to like save his teammate. Oh, but that miss spaced up air gets up smashed straight to the clouds. Oh, really good option from Ducks, but did not work out. Up smash. Wow, that barely hit. All right, so we're in that situation again where, okay, it's all that really could happen. Even stocks. Yes. Kind of a calamity going on to cause even stocks, but at the end of the day, we're at even stocks. All right, right now. Oh wow, that was kind of janky. Turnaround up B there. That the reason that Rickles does that turnaround up B is the hitbox comes out a little bit higher. Yeah, in case and someone and tries to drop down on him. And, it, and it's a nice, little good hitbox too. Oh, now he's just continuing the string, and he gets the big read on the roll for the forward smash. Deleting Fox off the left side of the stage, and, and something I'm really liking, like specifically watching Ducks for like for the last like half minute to minute, um, you can tell he's just actively letting Rickles do his thing. He is just sitting back and letting people run at Rickles uh, because right now Ducks getting these big combos going. And all, however, and Blue Team having a little having the stock lead. Zephyr needing to live. He does succeed in living, but now the question is, who's going to lose first stock? If I were Rickles, I would try to go for the side B on Dare to Dream, or just fight it out, and he's gone now. Oh, never mind. I did not realize that Rickles oh, yeah, actually Rickles, had a second Rickles stock. Rickles had the extra stock. My bad. It doesn't matter who he side Bs now. Now it's pretty much a wash. Well, actually, I think he would take the trade to side B Dare, but he's very low percents too. You don't want to lose that. Whoa! The Ducks clash. Getting, getting that clash and working out in his favor. Great trade for red team, but now uh, Dare's got everyone trapped. And Dare could actually win this. He's got he's at full health. And now he has to be very careful of Ganon, Ganon's side B. Oh, trying to get the reverse up air gimp. That would have maybe gotten the untackable state spike if things had worked out for Rickles. At that angle, I believe he was—he would, he would have only gotten like the weird bat down hitbox, but that would have put him in a bad position. <laughs> position. All right, Rickles. All right, I'm going to go with that was a misinput. I was gonna say I was—I think that was a side B. Uh oh. All right, so this is still absolutely winnable by Dare to Dream. He just has to be played perfectly. I'm surprised that Ducks is still frontlining. Yeah, I think they just realized. I think I think Rickles just said, "Let me do this." And there right, it is. We got, and that is a best of three situation. So that was not final. So that was that is it. And Dare was a little bit di disappointed. He did a big pound on the table when he lost his stock to that back air, and that is going to do it. Rickles and Ducks moving on to losers finals. They're going to be playing JJ and, JJ SPF. and, SPF. and This is a rematch.